Marcus Greyhound out there. Uh, as far as the viewing of the law is concerned, it was a dead heat between about five of them who got the most excited. We're about to find out. Here's race three. The dry, dry cleaners away. Showing the most speed in position two was Isla May, but then wanted to run up the track and presented a Lingardine with a beautiful run to take the lead. Pretoria Sun's running out after it into second placing. Starting to stoke up again is Isla May. Then in turn behind those was Slipper's Kin. The others are well back. They can't get into it. Simply Sassy. Uh, get up Jess and Bessie Street and Rota blade but holding on is a lingardine and the happiest greyhound smile second was pretoria's son third was isla may fourth placing was slippers kin uh, behind those then we had uh, get up jess simply sassy uh, Raider blade and bessie street were never in at the tail end of the field the time is pretty slow 23 54. four beats three two and eight three quarters was the winning margin half length Jumped okay at the start, uh, Alinga Dean, but then Isla May had too much speed, kicked up underneath it, but then Isla May just wanted to shift up the track and there was a bit of interference which uh, presented an easy lead for Alinga Dean, who kicked away down the back, got a lead on Pretoria Sun, who was the second one out of the bunch after Isla May just going a little bit wide there. Sort of a bump there with Rhoda Blade, who was going for the lead, Isla May, and that presented that run for Alinga Dean. Uh, back behind those, Slippers Kin, who needed to be up near the lead, showed good acceleration down the back straight to get into fourth placing and, and ran okay, considering uh, I thought it would get a little bit tired over the concluding stages. But uh, Lingardine, with a bit of luck in running, uh, was probably.